What's up everybody, this is Chris from the RewiredSoul.com and today we got news that the actor Nelson Ellis of True Blood has passed away due to complications of alcoholism. And we need to talk about this. So even though I didn't watch True Blood, I saw that one famous clip of him, which was hilarious, where he's confronting the homophobic diners. I ordered the hamburger deluxe. In this restaurant, a hamburger deluxe come with french fries, lettuce, tomato, mayo, and eggs. Do anybody got a problem with that? But as a recovering alcoholic and drug addict myself, I definitely empathize and can relate to what he was going through. Now, with all the talk lately about addiction being a choice, and there's also been a lot of talk about how just this is something that rehab centers and hospitals are doing as a ploy to make more money. Well, Nelson Ellis is a prime example of why you do need medical attention if you plan on quitting drugs. So first, let's break this down and start talking about this stigma. So the original video that most of you know me from was this gentleman talking about addiction as, as being a weakness. You don't have a disease, you're just weak. So. With that stigma that goes around, when you have most of the world's population saying that addiction is a weakness, what happens is that that gets ingrained into the addict's mind. So if you look at the interview from Us Weekly, there's a quote from Nelson Ellis's family member saying that Nelson was ashamed of his addiction. He didn't want to go get help. He had already tried to get help, now he didn't want to. So he tried to detox on his own. So when we're calling it a weakness, People think that they have something to prove, so they try to detox on their own. So this is one of the reasons why we need to quit telling addicts that they're weak and they need to learn to just get over it or get through it on their own. They need medical attention. Somebody thinking that they can detox on their own is the same as if they thought like, oh, I can just get over this, this heart disease and I'll just operate on myself. Like it's completely crazy. There are medical issues that come along with long-term alcoholism and drug use. Alcoholism is something that nobody's talking about in all these conversations lately, but alcohol is the most dangerous substance out there. The list of the different side effects from long-term alcoholism is longer than any list compared to heroin, cocaine, or anything else. So it's very, very important that people get medical attention. I personally lost one of my best friends due to complications of alcoholism, and I don't know the exact reason still to this day, it was about seven years ago, but from the story, it sounds like she died due to complications from alcohol withdrawal. So what happens is, after long-term alcoholism, you know, a lot of us, if any of you watching this have experienced alcohol withdrawals, you understand, like, you'll notice the shakes, stuff like that, maybe vomiting, maybe headaches, um, nausea. Uh, I remember having hallucinations and all those things. But what people often don't realize is that there's a lot going on inside of the body. When the body becomes dependent, different organs, different systems have become weakened and damaged. So once you stop using the drugs or the alcohol, your body is trying to regain that balance. So the weakened heart is trying to do more work now that it doesn't know where the alcohol is and it's already been weakened by long-term alcoholism. So it's very, very common for people to have this happen to them, just like Nelson did. He died from heart failure. Um, another side effect from alcohol withdrawal is seizures. So that's another reason why you need to have medical attention. So if you're watching this and you're thinking about getting clean, make sure you get medical attention, even if it's at an emergency room. You should really go to an alcohol and drug detox facility because they know the specifics of your withdrawal symptoms. But if you have to, go to an emergency room. There are medications that are specifically made to help people through the detox process. This isn't a money-making scam. This is to make sure that you are safe. You will be giving blood pressure medicine, medicine to keep your heart rate under control, medicine to make sure you don't have seizures, medicine to make sure that you can get to that next point where your, the fog in your head starts clearing up so you can actually possibly have a chance of pursuing recovery. And for anybody else out there watching this, this is why we don't tell addicts that this is a weakness because it gets set in their head that they can do this on their own. If the heart failure doesn't kill them, most people will relapse just because withdrawal is very, very difficult. 
So please, 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 please share this video. Let's increase awareness. Let's quit having people die from things like this. All right. And if you haven't yet, subscribe to my channel. There's some links in the description down below and I will see you next time.